The spiritual part of fasting is the, the whole idea of the whole divine prescription. All you who believe fasting have been prescribed divine prescription on you as it was prescribed on the people before you. It is a time of year that we get to slow down. We get to take intention and we get to take time. We get to see our families. You know, it is something that brings us together. And, and really, you know, during the month of Ramadan, it, it really tries to reset everything about you. What I love about Ramadan is that Ramadan always feels like a perfect time for when my soul needs a good cleanse. Taqwa means uh, our relationship with God Almighty. And God makes it very clear that Taqwa is, or piety is our relationship with God and, and righteousness our relationship with our fellow human being. If you are going to a mosque and you decide to cover your head, it is a sign of respect um, because when you're in a mosque um, or you're with, like the hijab and the way that I'm dressed right now signifies being modest. It doesn't signify me being a better Muslim or more spiritual or any of those things. But Where there's a will, there's a way. For a lot of people who have never tried fasting or never done it as a part of a spiritual component, it's like, how? How can you do that? But that faith component is what keeps you going because you're shifting away from eating and drinking and focusing yourself on improving yourself mentally, emotionally, but more importantly, spiritually. The whole idea is to get closer and closer to God Almighty. And the more, the closer we get to God Almighty, the closer we get to our fellow human being. The mystic Rumi have said, he said, there's something magical about an empty stomach. He said, an empty stomach will put the soul center stage. And as we go on year after year for 11 months, right? We come to Ramadan with this, um, kind of like our iPhone battery flashing red. And Ramadan is a month that's not only, uh, we get the sustenance from God Almighty in a form of food and water, but we remember that there's something bigger than food and water. And that is the, sus the spiritual sustenance that God Almighty um, uh, fill our hearts with during this month. Uh, the month of Ramadan puts us in, in touch with our very humanity. So we start seeing uh, one another as a human beings.